All right, folks, each game has eight minutes, man. And we got a, a interesting one here. We got Star Trek. Um, <clears throat> never played this game. Uh, never heard of it. Not surprised it exists. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's about. I uh, love Star Trek. Um, so uh, let's let's jump right in, man. Um, let's see what we got going on now. I, I just want to jump in because each game got eight minutes to either get in my backlog or just be a funny video. So uh, let's see what's in store here. Let's see what the game got going for itself. Um, classic music. Just heard it uh, before it cut off. Uh, okay. We got data and we got an ensign maybe. Uh, or um, ah, I forgot her name. Uh, okay. Communications coming in. Looking at a planet. Colors are pretty good. Um, I like it so far. Feels good. Feels good. I don't know what to do okay so I'm, i can look around all right we got computers we got engineering we got troy uh wharf um number one sensors okay you, you know this is actually pretty cool they tried to incorporate like a 3d aspect to it i can respect that i like that um and it, it, it because the show was already dated these graphics being kind of dated is not taking much away really from like look at the panels in the background like i like that that's really cool um so let's see what what can we do here um okay so we need to take a look at the view screen all right and it looks like it's gonna be text heavy no surprise there um it's star trek after all um uh, i am to Lyris, uh, doctor of archaeology, investigating uh, whatever. Um, let's see what gameplay actually is like. Um, okay, so we're in the briefing room discussing everything after we just found out. Um, ooh, okay. So it might be like a um, one of those text games, right? If it is, uh, we'll see. It's kind of cool. This is this is kind of cool, uh, especially for back in the day when this came out. Um, it's almost like a, um, and you could learn a lot about everything here, right? Or kinda. Okay. So I'm kind of talking to the the computer. Um, let me try to see if I can get the volume up a little bit though. It's kind of low. Engineering. And I did play a game almost a little bit similar to this before. I forget the name of it for Super Nintendo, but there's a video up. Uh, it did make it to my backlog just barely. I think it was called uh, Cyber Night. Um, I love the sounds. Okay, so we're good. I think we're good. Um, they probably did tell me what to do and I just simply ignored it. Um, so they want us to send help. Oh, let's go to the transportation room, right? Okay. So... Huh. Let's go back to the briefing room. I missed what they said. Um, could be in real trouble here. Okay, so we're going to set course. <clears throat> Unless we already did that. And to set course, I will need the... Him. I will need them, right? But I can't click on him, data. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and this is just information. Unless, oh, engineering. Let's let's go back to engineering. Let's see what they'll allow me to do in engineering. I'm kind of hitting a wall here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
Navigation. Mm -hmm. No access there. Huh. Transporter, no access. Computer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Like I said, kind of hitting a wall. Um, okay. That's cool. Learn a little bit about the planet or whatever. Maybe that's what I needed to do now. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hitting a wall. And again, can't go in here. I must be skipping over something. And, you know, I know it looks bad. Maybe I'm just a little bit biased. But this probably is part of the game. I'm assuming the exploration and finding out uh, what you need to do. Uh, I just wish it was a little more clear here. Uh, especially since it's going to be te text heavy. Um, hmm. I obviously need to set a course. Um, I just don't know how. Um, weird. Yeah, I tried to use the transporter and they said no. Um, then she showed me the planet. Uh, engineering. <clears throat> I did answer the hail. Let's, hmm, let's try to answer the hail again. It is blinking, so. Maybe I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I guess I did. Um, press B to warp at current location. Ah, I completely forgot what the name of the place was, so that's great. <clears throat> Let's go with uh, Gamma, maybe. Oh, man, I really... So, <laughs> so you really have to know, like, for real, know the location of, of where you're going. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that makes it really interesting. Um, it must have been weird, you know, playing this game and then trying to... I guess there was a password system because you couldn't save it. So there was a password system. Uh, set a course for uh, this move I. Hmm. Turn to the bridge immediately. I can hear his voice, you know. The thing about this is I don't know where the planet is. And I actually don't know how long it's going to... Hmm. How long it's going to take. There's some kind of... It even shows you the calculation of if you go warp 9, warp 8, all that, how long it would take to get to these places. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm surprisingly interested by now. This work will damage the engines. That's interesting. Um, time twenty four seventy eight. So I'm um, it's cool. And oh, each ship uh, or each planet has its own. Um... Oh, hold on. I think we arrived. We arrived. So this is um, not real time or some variation of real time. Uh, this is really interesting. This is really cool. I will say this. If I could play this in handheld, on a handheld, um, this would be really, really interesting. Really cool. So, um, I'm, 
shocking and i mean shocking because usually i'm not looking for something this slow but i'm kind of i'm it's right there it's right there where I'm, I'm like i'm interested let's play a little bit longer and see how um where we're going with this hold on what does she say i i have to i i, I keep forgetting that i need to read it and i can't uh, look at the clock anymore but um let's see what she had said i uh, lost it I don't know what I just pressed. I pressed something. Okay, so I'm back in warp again. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so we're, we'll close it here because it looks like... And there's no timer to let you know. Um, You know. How long the warp is going to last. So... I'm going to put it in my backlog. And here's here's why I was thinking about not doing that. It's really slow, obviously, uh, but it it does an extremely good job with limited um, infrastructure, limited resources of giving you the feel of the show. Really, just absolutely great job. Um, so really great job uh, of giving you the feel and things are are real ish time so i'm i'm really happy about that but it, it's gonna take a long time it's not something i can jump right in right so it's almost like i need to put this in uh yes but you know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> But I love it. I, I, not love it. I, I like it so far. I like the exploration. I like all that. Um, I like how the game is moving. Things are happening as I'm playing it. Um, so that's cool. I want to see more of it. It's going to go on my backlog. Uh, I just I have to see more. I have to see more. It would be extremely boring to somebody watching, maybe. Um, maybe. I don't know. There might be people into things like this. I'm sure there, there are. Um, so I think, no, I know this is going in backlog. Shockingly, going to the backlog. Uh, eight minutes just ain't enough. Backlog. Um, colors are great. Yeah, you, you heard it. You heard the review. The ish. Days of the review. Whatever. Uh, great. Backlog. 